So hey, how's it going everyone? Today I decided to talk about online dating profiles. As most of you guys already know, your profile picture is the most important factor in getting people's attention to view your profile. But do you know what makes a picture more attractive than other pictures? A lot of people don't realize that most people unintentionally make themselves less attractive or less photogenic through common picture-taking mistakes. Don't look at me, I'm hideous! So if this happens to be the case with you, or if you just want to know more about improving your pictures, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know. First thing you need to know is what type of camera you're using. Are you using a camera phone? Are you using a point and shoot? Or are you using a digital SLR? Obviously the higher quality cameras are going to give you higher quality pictures which in turn are going to make you look more attractive. So for the purpose of this, let's just avoid using camera phones. Ah. Oh. So the next thing you want to think about is the depth of field. Depth of field is pretty much the distance of focus that you have in your picture. The pictures that tend to do the best are the ones where the person is in focus and the background's all blurred out. So beyond just depth of field, you also want to be considering the time of day that your picture is being taken. The optimal time of the day is somewhere between late afternoon and nighttime. Say cheese! Okay, okay, let's try to avoid using flash. Beyond blinding you, the hard light with flash will expose wrinkles, blemishes, it'll create red eye, and it'll create harsh shadows. For a rule of thumb, let's just say, don't flash. That is definitely not what I was talking about. But as long as we're on the subject, should guys take their shirts off in their profile pictures? The answer to that question, it depends. Despite thinking that all guys that take their shirts off are tools, studies have proven that guys with good physiques that take off their shirts are more likely to get responses than when they leave their shirts on. On the opposite spectrum of that, however, guys that don't have good bodies should definitely leave their shirts on because otherwise that's just pretty much counterproductive. The reality is, if you have a nice body, you should show it off. In fact, the three most popular types of pictures are pictures involving animals, showing off your muscles, and doing something of interest. You should probably use real animals though. So if you don't have the best body in the world, it's not the end of the world. But make sure you don't try to overcompensate for this by overdressing. The best thing you can do is to dress casually in your pictures. Now studies have shown for women, cleavage shots are actually just as effective as guys taking shirtless pictures. In fact. MySpace angled pictures are considered the single best type of pictures that women can take. They are actually the most efficient at getting responses despite the fact that everyone knows how deceptive they really are. Oh yeah, this is sexy. So beyond just the body, what type of facial expressions should you have? Should you be smiling? Should you be not smiling? Should you have eye contact? Should you not be doing eye contact? For guys, the best type of picture is no eye contact and no smiling. Pretty much the looking off into the distance with no smile is the best approach a guy can have. Something interesting must be going on over there. And for women, the best type of picture is making a flirtatious face with eye contact. But what happens if you've tried these facial techniques and they still don't work for you? How important is being able to see your face in the picture anyways? Believe it or not, it's not all that important. If you have a picture that is either intriguing, sexy, mysterious, you can still substitute that in instead of putting in a picture of your actual face. But obviously keep in mind, before you actually meet a person, they're probably going to want to see what you actually look like. So after compiling all this data, I've come up with what I believe to be the perfect picture for me. So check it out. So thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll have a link to my previous video. And as always, I'll see you later.